would you say is your like your your top K two hero? So there's there's Charlie Houston. Well, I would say it's that whole group of climbers in 1953, the American team. Mm -hmm. You know what they did on that rescue. Yeah, could you uh, talk about that a little bit? That was absolutely a, a riveting part of the book. Yeah, and and it's called the Miracle Belay. Right, <laughs> where they're all descending, and they have this their their teammate that that is debilitated with blood clots mm -hmm. in his legs, and they've got him wrapped in a sleeping bag, and they're actually lowering him down right. very very steep slopes. And so there's two or three rope teams, they're all descending together, uh, and one of the teams slips and falls. And in the the falling, they all become entangled. Right. So there's there's multiple pairs of guys, and yes. one one guy hooks into one guy, and they start. It's like yeah. a, a domino effect. And one uh, of the climbers, Pete Schoening, mm -hmm. jabs his ice axe behind his rock, between his boot and a rock, called a boot axe belay, uh -huh. and he stops everyone. So that's the most famous belay ever in climbing history, where he saves the lives of all of his teammates. Uh -huh. Uh, I mean, it's quite, and I read that story when I was a kid, and it's very, uh -huh. a very famous mountaineering story. And they knew against all odds that, that getting this guy down alive, their, their chances were, were between slim and none. But still they said, we are going to do whatever we have to do to get this guy down. We right. have to at least make the attempt. Yeah. And then they were, they, uh, Houston had planned to come back, but the Italians beat him the next year. Yeah, the Italians made the summit the next year. Right, with even an absolutely opposite sort of team ethic. And yeah, they had a leader who was, uh, you know, almost dictatorial, and, and he the had already... The chief is what his... Yeah, <laughs> he had already chosen his two summit climbers, and so he was kind of saving them, and, and, and all the efforts were to get these two guys to the summit, and everybody sacrificed a lot because of that. So there was a lot of bitterness in the end because of how that expedition played out. Yeah, even even some 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 sus sus suspicion of Machiavellian and sort of tactics for yes, for who was going to get to the top and and how they were going to get there and even would people be left to die on purpose. Right. <laughs> and that happens, you know, not routinely, but as have has happened in climbing history as well. We don't Super, you know, from the surface, we don't see that. You know, mm -hmm. we, we hear about the success, two climbers got to the top. But if you actually are able then to read the accounts and dig deep, you see all this stuff mm -hmm. that's going on behind the scenes. And you're right. like, how? I mean, that doesn't sound fun yeah. at all.